Obviously a very hectic morning for air travelers as that cyber outage is causing flights all across the globe to be grounded. So let's get back out to Channel 3. New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane, who's been live at Bradley International Airport all morning long with the latest on what's going on there. Matt, good morning. Uh, good morning, Caitlin. So, yeah, it, we're talking about impacting those three large airlines, American United, Delta, American lifting its ground stop earlier this morning, but uh, Delta United still in place, a number of cancellations, delays. You can see an uh, issue uh, with the uh, computers here, the terminals, the kiosks, the check-in, sort of a couple of them still in recovery mode, uh, sort of alerting folks to problems. The folks at the, the desk, the agents there, they're trying to help folks uh, sort of make their way through, try to figure out how they can get through this now. Uh, Delta earlier this morning sending out updates on social media saying it had paused its global flight schedule due to a vendor technology issue impacting several airlines working to resolve the issue as quickly as possible and resume operations. Now customers with flights scheduled for Friday should continue checking in with the Delta app. They're also working to issue a travel waiver uh, to allow customers scheduled to travel Friday, uh, July 19th today to manage and make some changes to their itinerary. Again, eventually apologizing for the inconvenience. United also uh, issuing a similar uh, statement that they're working to fully restore their system. Some flights are resuming. Many customers traveling today may be experiencing delays, but again, they too have issued a waiver as well. And Bradley says the, the airport, they say they're just sort of, uh, oh, they're aware of it, they're monitoring it, uh, and advising passengers to check the status of their flight with their airlines this morning as this continues to play out. But uh, very busy morning here at the airport, sort of hectic for a lot of folks. Uh, we've heard from some folks not being able to sort of get their boarding passes. Some have been able to get print out. Uh, for others, it's still an issue. But uh, again, uh, folks are being advised to just sort of check in with their airlines because there are still a number of delays uh, and a few cancellations as well. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom at Bradley International Airport. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness news. All right, Matt, thank you so much for that update. Obviously, it's a very fluid situation we've been on top of for you all morning long uh, from last night as well. So uh, if you're looking for the very latest updates, you can download the WFSB app. You can stay on top of things any time of the day, that QR code right on your screen. Be sure to stay with us as well throughout the rest of the morning as we get you the latest information here on air and that WFSB app. Scott, 